Hello and welcome my name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video I am going to show you how to install Laravel Framework 7 on web hosting server using cPanel. So it, your web hosting server provider could be anybody as long as you have cPanel the interface and process is going to be very much similar. So there are a few things before you start installing 7 you want to make sure are in place. So I'm talking about PHP version and its extensions. Go ahead and look for select PHP version plugin that lets you select the version of PHP and enable and disable the extensions. Now so go ahead and select, seven, uh, select PHP 7.3. This might change in future so go ahead and check and appropriately select your PHP version. Now you want to make sure you got PDO MySQL enabled so go ahead and check this box. Uh, you can also go ahead and make sure you got MySQLi selected and any extension that if you're going to require for your inst um, application Laravel application make sure it's going to be available to it so make sure it's enabled on this page. So I assume that you are done so go back to cPanel. The other thing that you want to make sure is you've got your domain name added to this cPanel account. So if your domain name is with your hosting company or with some other service provider could be another domain name registrar. Go ahead and look for this add on domains and click on it. Now we will go ahead and add a domain just for demo purpose. I'll go ahead and type a domain extension. So this is going to be a domain name for just demonstration purpose. So go ahead and type in your domain name with its extension that you want to domain name that you want to use for this Laravel application. And you'll see see it says oops looks like your domain is pointed to remote name servers. So what we need to do, we need to add this DNS based validic validation. It's asking you to add TXT records to your domain name DNS. So go ahead and copy everything within this double quotes and go to your D uh, uh, domain name registrar, login, click on DNS against your domain name and add a record sorry text record and type in your domain name without any http or www or simply add the rate symbol and then select your domain type first you select the uh, record type and then type the add the rate and then then you go ahead and type in this uh, text value and then save it once it's saved come back to this page and hit begin validation. This will take 5 to 10 minutes. If you have an issue, go ahead and contact the support and it should be sorted out in just a few seconds. Probably a minute. Now, let's go ahead and install Laravel 7 on this domain. So to install Laravel, we have Softculus app installer. Go ahead and click on it. So I'm going to open this in a new tab or just come down here at the very bottom, bottom and you can look for Laravel here as well. So you don't see no problem. Uh, you can find something called frameworks. So let's see if we have frameworks. So these are frameworks that are available for installation. You can see so many frameworks, right? Oh, Symfony as well, Zend, CakePHP, Bootstrap, Laravel. So this is what you're looking for. Go ahead and click on it and this will take you to the installation page similarly. So we just opened this um, Softcular. This is Softcular's home page. You will have to go to this, uh, where is it, Frameworks. And we are looking for Laravel. So go ahead and look, click on it and you have similar interface now. So now in order to install it, we simply go ahead and hit install. It's going to select the domain by default. So go ahead and select the domain. So it's going to install the most latest version of Laravel framework. At this time, it's going to be 7.18.0, which was released just in June. So June 30th, 2020, this keeps changing. So don't worry. Anytime you're going to install it, it's going to be the latest version of Laravel. 
other thing the protocol the HTTP protocol it's going to be selected HTTPS on most of the service um, uh, hosting company hosting servers uh, you, if you're going to use soft queueless it's going to select HTTPS but if you have any specific requirement go ahead and select that particular protocol and then type in your working email address where you will receive all the installation information make sure everything is all right and hit install this shouldn't take long time and you will have your laravel installed in just a few seconds go ahead and copy it or just open this in a new tab um, because i've chosen ssl https it's going to take a few minutes to deploy it on this particular domain so i'm going to use firefox to view this laravel application here so it's just trying to load it and here we have laravel installed successfully and this is trying to protect its so go ahead and hit allow and you will be directed to this laravel public page alrighty so that's how you install laravel on a web hosting server using cPanel so that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP thanks again bye for now goodbye take care people